You know, I got a confession to make. Usually when I make my videos, I tend to be a perfectionist. And that holds me back. Whenever I edit my videos, I have to be perfect. I have to be on point. In my previous videos, I actually memorized a script. And I memorized it word for word, staring at the camera dead in the eye, making sure I didn't mess up anything. And if I did, I'd be so pissed off that I'd start over from scratch and reshoot it over and over again. Well, quite frankly, I'm a bit fed up with that because the past few months, I kind of took a break from making videos. I've gone through a very transitional period of my life. I felt like I was just talking a lot. I wasn't really listening, learning more. So I think it's been like three months since my last video. And a lot has happened since then. A lot has happened. I've learned a lot. I decided to stop taking advice from people who didn't have the results I wanted. For example, you might hear people giving travel advice, yet they're back at home giving travel advice from their park, some, ran some random fucking park. I refuse to do that. I will not do it. I believe that in order to give advice, you have to practice what you preach. And that's, I'm a huge believer with that. And also, one thing that I am, vic I'm not a victim of this, but I've been someone who's done this, giving advice when it's not asked for is a fucking waste of time. Assuming that you clicked on this video or you're just watching it, something that I said or wrote interests you. So that to me shows a sign that you want to know what I have to say. It's a very similar thing when <laughs> so many areas of your life where, for example, dating. You might have some questions, concerns. That's a part of life, I, I'd say. And you have someone just blabbering and giving you advice in here and there when you didn't ask for it. And it gets fucking annoying. And I've done this with life success. And I've been victim to this where I had some relatives giving me life advice. And I can't help but take their advice with a grain of salt for many reasons. One, you don't have the results I want. Two, I didn't ask for your advice. And three, I'd say, your advice got you to where you are today and it's not where I wanna be. So with my videos, I'm just sharing ideas whatever's on my mind, my advice, my experiences, got me to where I am today. And the thing is, with this whole video, YouTube channel, or Facebook, if I put that up, yes, I love traveling, and that's the niche my channel has been. But I'm not one of these guys who's gonna give you five tips about the best hostels in this area, or all this type of shit. It's just not me. Uh, there's other bloggers and stuff, Go to their channel, I highly suggest it. I'm sure they have great things to say. These videos of mine are, is just really a personal documentary of my life basically, as I grow older year by year. And of course it's not easy shooting in public. For example, like these kids just walked by and they laughed at me. My, my first video, I was very self-aware. I, I almost wanted to give up, there's sometimes I took a, a 40 second shot and it took me three hours to record. I kept on messing up and over and over and over. But if you watch the very first video on my YouTube channel, you see a drastic difference to how I'm speaking now compared to then. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm here in Lviv, Ukraine. And today's topic I wanna to talk about is 18 year olds that just graduated high school. And that's just a result of personal growth. And what travel has given me is a platform to grow as a person. For as long as I can remember, I would say the first two decades of my life, I didn't really live life. I spent a lot of time indoors. I didn't go out and hang out with friends or anything like that. I was 
staying at home, playing video games, I didn't really have a father figure. And I think that's a huge thing, men specifically, because I'm not a girl. I feel like we're losing fa father figures and it's changing masculinity, I would say. That's, I always hear this when I meet people and some, a lot of girls say that there's no real men anymore. And I completely believe that. And the thing is, because, you don't ha because I didn't have that father role, I, my self-development, my self-esteem was just shit because the people who I was looking up to w were not a good example. And I'll probably expand on this later in different videos. And uh, as a result of that, I've always felt throughout my high school that I felt so deprived of experiences in my life. And people always ask me, why do you keep traveling? My family relatives and all that asked me as well. I remember when I went to my grandma, grandma's 70th birthday, an uncle of mine asked me, I basically said like, trying to convince me to settle down. And he, he said like, oh, Jesse, you've been traveling for like, a good three years now. Don't you think it's time to be a responsible adult and settle down? The thing is, I'm not going to do that. I, I strongly believe in your 20s, you should be experiencing as much as possible. And I, I believe because I felt so deprived of experiences, this really held me, like this really takes it to extreme for myself because I feel like I have so much more of life that I have to experience before I even consider settle, settling down. And I don't, I, I know this, based on my Facebook news feed and mutual friends that there are a lot of people who are settling down in their early 20s. Right now I'm 23 years old and I've been traveling for quite some time now. Um, and the thing is, yes, I could settle down, but it's just, I don't want to live my life in regret. That's a huge thing. I don't want to think back when I have kids and wife and just wishing and regretting like, oh fuck, I wish I traveled the world. I wish I did this, I wish I did that. And I know people like this. And I can, when, when I tell them why I do what I do, I can see in their eyes. It makes them discom very uncomfortable. And I'm pretty sure some people might hate my videos because I make, make them feel uncomfortable with their life and their life choices. Or maybe not. If you are happy with your life choices, that's good. That's awesome for, for you. But um, yeah, and I just see this and basically it's just, just a new way I want to express myself. Um, yeah, man, and uh, see right now I'm going blank. Usually I would cut this because I'm a perfectionist, but I'm just gonna let it go. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, I was all over the place, but hopefully it made some sense. And uh, I'll try my best to shoot more videos just like this. Um, I, feel, I feel better just talking like this. This is actually the real me. I always felt like I put up a front when I was on camera, I don't know. It's just a lot of pressure when you're shooting out in public and stuff like this. As I talk, there's always people walking by and um, yeah, it's a lot of pressure, but you, you just get comfortable with it and I don't know, you just work with it. So again, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I'll shoot one very soon again. See you next time.